Hi, in this video you will learn how to create custom morphs for props in Daz 3D using Blender. Make sure to viciously beat the like and subscribe button and also to kidnap their families so that uh, the algorithm will figure out where my channel is and get me the subscriber base I need. So I'm starting out here in Daz and I've just picked kind of a cool sort of an elven fantasy knife. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create morphs specifically for this prop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it longer and bigger as if it is magically morphing directly into the shot. And the changes need to be fairly dramatic for that to really work. Obviously, whatever prop or morph you need to apply is gonna be different from mine, but the principles that I'm gonna show you here will apply to literally any prop and any type of physical changes in both Daz and Blender. So the first thing to do is to make sure my dagger here, this prop, is selected. Go up to File, Export. Make sure it's an OBJ format. I'm going with Fan Weapon 3. Now come up here to where it has your export options. Go to Daz Studio, and then come here where it says scale and make it 1%. This will make it easier for everything to translate between the programs. Push accept. Now I'm coming over here to Blender, and we get rid of that cube just because I don't need it. And then Import, and this is where a lot of mistakes can happen. If you don't import it properly, everything done past this point will be a waste of time. Go to your Wavefront OBJ. Go to the file where you put it. Now don't accept right away. Highlight your prop and then come down here where it says Geometry. Switch it over to Keep, Vert, Order. Click on Polygon Groups. This is easily where you can screw up. I showed in my how to make custom morphs for characters video what happens when you get this wrong. And there's our prop. Now I'm going to change this prop so that it creates the morph. And I'm just going to do a fairly basic uh, sculpt. Make sure the prop is selected. Come up here to the upper left hand corner, go to sculpt mode, and you got all your various sculpture. I'm gonna go with snake hook for a second. And I'm just gonna go with a kind of a semi basic changes. I'm not gonna get too ambitious with it. So after a few minutes of, you know, changing things and generally messing around, I'm reasonably happy this is a different shape. The next thing to do is to export back into Daz. Make sure that your prop is selected. I like to put things back in object mode just so I know where everything is. And come back to file, now export, OBJ again. Now your settings here are extremely important for everything to go smoothly. Make sure that your scale is up to 100 because you actually brought it down to 1% to get it into Blender and make it more user friendly. Make sure your normals, 
your mesh, your NURBS, object group, vortex group. And I'm going to name this FamWeb3 and export. And just for to keep my, my life simple, what I actually like to do is just leave both DAZ and Blender on in my computer while I'm working. So this being the same prop, I'm going to go up to Edit, Objects, Morph Loader Pro, Choose Morph File, click on your morph, accept, it says it was, it'll let you know whether or not you were successful in getting in there. Then go to Parameters, and it should show up in your parameter settings. Hey, and it worked. Look at that. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. And the fun thing about these uh, morphs when you're completely done, you can actually uh, have this show in your timeline. So if you want it to start out here, It actually will morph in the shot. So the next thing to do is actually to save the morph to this prop. As is, it will work perfectly fine, but if you close out or if you don't save the file, it won't save and you have to reinstall it every single time and I just hate doing that. So the next and final step is to simply save the prop because when I do something like this, I only want to do it one time. So go up to your little gear here, click on it, parameter settings, and if there's anything you hear you want to change, for example, I don't want it to go into negative numbers and I do like my morphs to have kind of some like play on colors. I'm going to go light green to dark green. And it's in Morph Loader Pro. It's in the parameter setting. That's where I do want it. I'm going to go to accept. Just a nice, easier way to find this guy. Now take it up to 100%. Go to File, Save As, Support Asset, Morph Asset. So I've got the save file all set up. I have my product name, which is fan blade three, fan blade three. Got to change my name to Tomasi Studios. Change the name to Tomasi Studios. And this will help the uh, DAZ keep everything nice and organized. So here you have the, the product name, the morph, the location. Click this guy right here. Go to accept. And that actually should be done. So if I go to here and I delete this file. But I pull up a new one immediately after it. Click on it, go to parameters. I have my morph all set up and 100% ready to go all the time. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or straight up abuse, well, hey, that's what the comment section is for. If you have any other ideas for videos you'd like me to do, let me know. And thanks again.